So uh, machine learning underpins how we make search work, uh, yep. natural language processing. Yep. Uh, if you use, if you speak to Google, uh, our error rate has fallen from around 25% to about five or six percent in two years because of machine learning techniques that analyze the data. We can use fewer data points to give you more accurate results faster as a result of that. Image recognition, Google Photos and other similar technologies use this technology today. And the challenge is if you're not trying and you're not keeping up, then you will be left behind. You'll be on the beach and everybody will be off in the speedboat somewhere. So that's why you've got to be hungry to keep testing and learning new things. Yeah, I really agree with your point, you know, particularly the, the avalanche video I and mean, all this stuff here is totally bewildering. But uh, the Do you essence, know what that means, by the way? <laughs> some of it. I've heard of diameter before. Um, so I think that really gets in the way. And the basics of doing good marketing, I think, are the same as they've ever been, which is like, how do I connect with a consumer and delight them and do that in a way that's profitable over time? So, for example, you know, what is television today? I just read a whole stack of industry reports on the UK and kind of none of them really looks at what's the total audience for video content in front of British yep. eyeballs. And uh, you know, you want to connect the right message to the right person at the right time. You want to do that at scale. You want to do that custom targeted. You want to do that in a way that's profitable and builds relationships. I mean, let's call it what it is. We're in the middle of a revolution. Yep. We're in the middle of a revolution in communications, in technology. It's very disruptive. And quite frankly, it's a bit scary. And when that happens, I think people can move towards fear. And we see that, that's very normal. And you know, when we've seen from previous revolutions, we've seen how people have been fearful and you hear about the demise of everything and you know, th there'll be no more jobs and the machines will take over. And that's just not true. Again, if you look on the history books, you can see that actually with every revolution that comes, yes, things do change. A lot will be the same, great storytelling, understanding the consumer, you know, great, amazing, inspirational, creative work. But actually, can you combine it with other things to deliver things to people in a new and exciting way? And I, for one, will choose hope and optimism every single yep. time. But for me, a lot of this is just about trying to remove friction yep. from people's lives, because we've got busy and complicated lives. And the easier you make it uh, for me to do stuff, uh, the better. And, and, and both of our organizations know this. You know, we're, we're absolutely uh, religious about speed, which is the you know the forgotten killer app we always say is speed. How do we make stuff faster, load quicker on a poor connection, get your stuff done quicker? I mean, Google is all about not about the time spent you on or you, you spend on our app. It's about minimising that.